Welcome to the season two premiere of Poker Game Night. Now, before we get into today's video, I would like to thank you guys so much for all the continued support for all the season one videos. It really means a lot. I'm happy that we're back to doing this for a year after, you know, we couldn't properly end season one due to me being sick, which would have been episode six. And then we took off on in October, November, and December for the holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. And then we're back with the vengeance. So therefore, I'd also like to thank Kensington Tom for being so kind and you know taking time out of her day to make this long-awaited video call happen on instagram hopefully we can do it again soon and maybe i'll get to meet you soon and that you in person one day sooner than later and that you'll start your youtube channel the soon uh, the later this summer or even spring and then maybe one day when you're older get facebook but you like i said you let me know when you make that decision well i will be waiting for that update and you know you said you, you said you keep me posted and i will be looking out for that profile and if you once that profile is up i will be looking out for that friend request now on to the video from fraternal order of police force it's poker game night season two episode one ready for this? with your host the father and son duo of mark and ed Oliveris. Welcome to a brand new season of Poker Game Night. This is the season two premiere, something that y'all have been waiting on since September. Well, when was the season one? I know in September, I, it could have been episode six, but I, I... November. November, but I was sick three times. Do it again. Okay, the, the season one ended in November, but you didn't get a proper finale from my end because we, I was sick three different times. So the fina the season episode five of season one turned out to be my season f the the season one finale from my perspective. But the true season one finale was in November. Then they took off in December. And now we're back for season two. We got ourselves a new logo and we're back for uh, you know higher stakes, you know, much more action-packed and exciting, you know, action and intense, you know, competition, you know, we're ready to make this bigger and be bigger and better than season one, so we're here at the fr uh, FOP, or as my dad was making shit up like Jamie McMurray, FOB, because sometimes he can never tell the difference between a B and a P, but hey, what do you, you gotta, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, as we're, what are you doing? I'm gonna go park across the street. Okay, he's parking across the street, so therefore, um, isn't it somewhere down here? What? The fraternal order? Right here. Oh, yeah. It's okay. I was confused. Like, why the hell are we moving? Because I want to park in front of the place. Understandable. Because usually we do that. That's his seatbelt alarm going off, but it doesn't matter because we're only just moving parking spots. So, yep, we're right in front of the place. So, let's, uh, I'll give you all a close up view and we'll meet you all in there. We get on with the season, episode one of season two, aka the season two premiere. There it is, everyone. First time since first time for me since I think August, I think it was, and first time in general since November. Let's get this second season underway. All right, Subway and Coke for a late dinner. So we're gonna have mozzarella sticks for our actual dinner when we come home after we wrap this all up. And I'm a dumbass. I'm just remembering we did a road show in September at the Murphy Homestead. You know, that was the season one finale. Okay, during the Sharpie 500, I remember now. So I, I couldn't come in October or you know. November because I was sick three times so yeah I got sick three yeah I got the first time I was sick it was October November I got sick two more times November well December it didn't matter because December it didn't matter because they were they were done for the holidays so therefore yeah if I if I had stayed healthy October or no I think November, I think, would have been the season one finale for actual season one finale. But yeah, the actual season one finale was in November, I think. I had to miss both of them due to being sick two or three times. But I'm 110% healthy. I'm bet we're back for season two, feeling as good as ever. Hopefully, my dad can bring home his first career win in a poker game. 
I'm pretty sure he's won poker games, but either A, I probably overlooked it because also B, I most likely wasn't here. Hopefully soon we'll start the Texas Hold'em stuff, the whole Texas Hold'em series, but it's really hard to do, you know, hard to like, you know, it's a, that's a series, a planned series that's really hard to attend to when it's on Wednesdays, you know, in the middle of the work week when I work all week to the point where I work all day from 8 to 8, 9 o'clock in the morning to 2 p.m. to the point where if I were to go to Texas Hold'em, then I, I'd have to leave, we'd have to leave early so we can, me and my dad can get our asses to bed so we can go to work, you know, we get our asses to bed early the night before so we can go to work the next morning, so it's pretty hard. Now, if I ever get a summer vacation from Viacourse in the future, which is not going to happen anytime soon, unfortunately, um, anytime soon, unfortunately, um, maybe we'll, maybe we'll be, it'll be easier to attend to it as they're talking about the football game, the Jaguars and the Chiefs, you know, Rob Riggle's team, the Chiefs, Kansas City, because he's, he's a kid, fellow Kansan, so... Therefore, but the, the thing for ViaQuest is, I, I said in the, for the summer months, my plan was I could take as many days off I want to while it's cold outside, but as soon as it warms up when we hit season three of Fun in the Sun, well, season two of Spring is in the air is 50-50, but at least season three of Fun in the Sun when summer comes back in June. I want a clean record and see if I can go the whole summer at ViaQuest without taking any days off. So anyway, let's see. A salami sub sandwich for Leonard, so time to dig in like Dick Trickle. And if you guys want to look at the season one finale of this series, you know, from the Murphy Homestead, go check that shit out like Kevin LePage, link in the description. <laughs> See that guy right there? He just explained the the, the new the brand new revamp rules for season two as we get the new season underway. So therefore now it's off camera. I was editing that that previous clip you saw before before this one while he was explaining the rules. So I wasn't able to catch it, but we are just getting underway and let the new season begin. Yep, that guy, Murphy Jr., his wife, Marcy, who I love dearly, along with their um, eldest daughter, Addison. Yep, Marcy just joined TikTok. I think it was earlier this month. There's the one with the one police, the last, you know, not, well, how do I say this properly? There's one of the, one of the police dogs, Caesar. I was scared of him at first, but then after being around him so much, you know, I kind of got over the, over the, uh-oh. Some, was that an ambulance or was that? I saw lights, but I couldn't figure out if it was Popo or ambulance or a fire truck. Who fucking knows? But anyway, that that should be the least of our problems. We got a get. We got a game to play here and an, ep an episode an episode of broadcast you and a new season to debut. Okay, let's do this. Okay, they're setting it up like Jimmy Johnson over at this table. Oh, they're still going at it out there. The hell's going on? Okay. I think everybody's got their drinks ready. The the beers, the cokes. Oh my! That guy. <laughs> some of these some of these cops are comedians. Like off duty police, the off the. Off to off duty comedian, comedian, a police officer. How, how, how the fuck do I say this? Um, some off duty police officer comedians. <laughs> That's the best I could come up with. But yeah. Oh yeah, there's the clock right there. We can see it clearly. Hold on, let me zoom it in. Twenty minutes, not thirty minutes. Like you look at what his line sees. That's a new. That's a change. For, get out of my get out of my way. Okay, so. So last season one, last year, it was 30 minutes. The, so this year for season two, they reduced it ten by 10 to 20 minutes. So you only have, you have 10 less minutes to do whatever, whatever you want. And, you know, take, a, you know, take the gambles that you're willing to take. It's a game of risk and luck. That's what poker is all about. All right, start the clock, bitch. Go. Here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go pokering, boys. Now I know how the clock system works. These boys were expecting me tonight, and I sure as hell fucking delivered. Oh, 
Yeah, I love poker game night. This is probably one of, the, one of my favorite nights in my modern life. We're gonna bring you guys different angles, the camera angles tonight, so don't worry. What's Murphy Jr. doing? Zooming out a little bit. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera a lot. I'm just too excited. They're watching the football game up there that my dad was listening to on his car stereo and on his phone. Yeah, like Mike, I said, it's, like I said, Rob, Rob Riggle's team is playing. Rob Riggle's a Kansas City Chiefs fan because he's a fellow, fellow Kansan, like I said. I don't even like the NFL, but I know this for a fact because I'm also a Rob Riggle fan. Probably my favorite actor long, and comedian alongside David A. Arnold. So there's only one of them left. Rob is, Rob is still here, thankfully, but David's gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's going to be the first one eliminated tonight? That's the real question. For just keys for season two, you know, watch your you know, keys for season two to remember how early this, how much earlier this starts now. How much earlier every episode start will start this year and how much will lead to it and our, our very or much earlier end than last year. Yeah, I know, I just did awkward silence like we did in the car when we were getting out and trying to park, so, therefore, um, mm -hmm. therefore, it was really, just the way you started, so there's really nothing to talk about. All right, here's a close-up of my dad's table. First close-up of the night, of the end of the season. My dad's dealing, my dad's dealing. Senior and junior table. Sorry, I'm being quiet. I mean, I, I'm just trying to, you know, focus on what they we'll see, what they're actually, what their plan is, what they're trying to do. Trying to focus on the commentary. Um, yeah. 
I have no idea what the hell I'm saying. I'm just talking out of my ass again. Like I did during the Sandy Ridge finale. <laughs> We got some excitement going on next door. All right, Scott Stewart's table. What's going on over here? Yeah. Right. Man, I heard someone getting excited over here. They were getting, they were getting a little excited. I thought something was actually happening, but nope. It's still early, so there's a lot of game left. So hang in there. We're gonna set it on them, hit him for a little bit too, and then we'll go by where Caesar's relaxing, and we'll get, you know, a a, a, a back a, like a back end view or something like so, whatever it's called. Now, how much time is left on the clock? Okay, sorry, hang on. It's over, le oh, like ten, 10 minutes left. I just checked. Just trying to, you know, film, film this and, you know, look at the clock at the same time. Okay, 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left in the first round. Uh, they're watching football and trying to win win a poker game too. Interesting. Bless you. All right, Caesar's walking around. He's probably more afraid of me than I'm uh, afraid of him, if anything. So here's a little rear end view. Now he's gonna go see my dad. He's a nice dog. It's just that he probably does is not comfortable with me yet. Kind of like how I was I was afraid of him in the beginning. Wait. Okay, we're good. I had him put my jack on the table. That way the dog don't hit it or let alone touch it, period. And stuff, you know, stuff like, you know, that. Stuff like that is exactly why, part of why I've been afraid of dogs almost my whole life. But I've been, now that I'm getting, getting older, I've been trying to get, you know, trying to get better with that and, you know, trying to Comple completely over. Uh oh, elimination! Our uh, first elimination of season two. Who? Oh, that was you. Adios and kiss your heart goodbye. <laughs> oh, he's like, fuck this, I'm out. And then my dad goes, but wait a minute, but he's, my dad goes, son, you did not interview him, but what the fuck was I supposed to do? He just went straight out the door, but, but I, not, not only that, I didn't even think about that. But yeah, I've been trying to get over my fear now that I'm getting older, like 100% conquered to the point where I can be comfortable around any dog, whether I know him or not. So it's going to take time. I'm starting with the neighbors and then maybe family before we I feel comfortable having one of my own but we'll just have to wait and see okay, round two is a back end view of my dad's table this is exactly what the, the other guy got eliminated his first first action in a long time he already got knocked out round one I don't really understand how this shit works that's why I don't play it well, my dad's room for somebody, I don't know who. I think my dad is involved in a betting competition when it comes to the football or sports in general. Mostly football. His game is tomorrow. His, you know, his, my... What? What'd you say, Dad? Dad, did you say something? Okay. Anyway, my dad's game is tomorrow because my stepmom is a Bills fan. So then, you know, she, of course, transferred, transformed him into a Bills fan. Because before you know it, I'll be transforming Razel or even Hannah or... Even Stephanie into a Spurs fan, you know, before you know it. 
I doubt I'll be able to do it to Julie and Christy though. These are people I I I I'm there's my girlfriend and of course you know my best friends that I work with at BioQuest. Not just in the Elyria facility, but like the company as a whole, regardless of facility. Alright, here's a little back end view of Murphy Senior and Junior table. <laughs> Where does this guy go? I mean, he's probably going to the bathroom is what he's doing. Let's, or is he going to throw his drink away? Well, let's see what he's doing. You, I know you can't see that shit off camera. Mikey! <laughs> oh, another elimination. Who? Where? Where? Was that you? One with the Bud Light, was that you? Okay, okay, I'm confused. Who got out? Him or him? Pete, your beer from the Elks is probably still. Oh, it's that guy, okay. It's Pete, the guy in the dark green shirt. That's like the second elimination of, of the night and of end of the season. Hey, here's a side view of everybody. Let's do a little Budweiser aerial coverage. So it's two eliminations. The first guy, I don't even know his name. I don't, I don't even know who that is. And then, of course, Pete, the guy over, over there in the dark green shirt. I got another six. I'm starting to understand these eliminations a little better now, now that we're in a new season. Is it higher than six? Pete this year's first Yeah, my... Dad is in a bet, in a bit of betting, you know, betting competition when it comes to football. I'm not sure if he does it with basketball, but football, he's passionate about it. The same way I used to be passionate about NASCAR when I was growing up, like what I told Kensington Tomlin today. That was fun. I think that was probably my favorite, you know, celebrity, you know, video, video celebrity virtual face-to-face -face chat I've ever done. Next, right next to Isabella Pappas and Brianna Seattle Colin. He's in the top three I've, I've talked to. <laughs> Not to mention that her, her, Brianna's cousin, Jaylene Ramirez, was playing second fiddle to that one, which was basically not a video call, but a live stream. But I somehow got to meet, but I still got to somewhat meet them virtually. <laughs> I mean, with Kensington today, I was talking about NASCAR and, you know, the stuff they do on, she does on Nickelodeon with her peers. And when I talked to Brianna Sierra Colin, all I talked about was Ricky Martin. Well, at least half the time I did. Half the time, 50% of the time I talked about Ricky. But, and 50% I talked about NASCAR that they were like, her and you know, Jaylene were brave enough to admit they weren't alive when I, in 2001 when Dale Sr. was killed. <laughs> but Ricky was the bigger half, obviously. I think with Isabella Pappas, I was talking about a shitload of subjects. That was probably the longest one we had. Honorable mention, Isaiah C. Morgan from the same show. I wonder who's going to be the next person from my favorite shows that's going to be the one that's going to be the lucky one to talk, talk, to, going to be the lucky one to talk to me face to face, you know, talk to me virtually face to face as P is walking out the door. Someone's mad that they lost. Well, we'll see you next time, Pete. We'll see you for episode two next month. See you, man. <laughs> episode two of season two will be next month, February 18th, right here on Mark Oliver's Enterprises. Be there. Cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Ding, 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 ding. This man right here, just, of course, you know, for a new season because there comes change compared to compared to the previous season. There is no there's no cakewalk to any poker victory. This year you have to earn it. Last year was just season one, so of course it was it was like it was all fun and games, and you know it was like smooth sailing. This year is totally different, so as it should be for a new year and a new season. And I've already lost count of how many rounds we have played so far, and that's normal for. A game like poker or blackjack or even Texas Hold'em poker. All right, here's a view, the camera view we never used, not even in season one.
I think that guy's going to get a drink or you going to the bathroom or throwing something away. Oh, he's throwing shit away. And getting another fucking refill. Figures. We have Coke at home too, so we're gonna be eating and drinking really good when we go home. And watching a lot of good YouTube videos and uploading a good video of our own. So it's gonna be a good Saturday night at home. And best of all, we get to stay up all night since we don't got shit to do tomorrow. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being quiet again. I'm just trying to focus on what, what's going to be the next move or what's going to be the next, you know, train of events to happen. Okay, my my left arm is getting tired. Hold on. All right, here's another clip of this view because my left arm was getting tired. I have to use my right arm, I mean, considering I'm right-handed anyway, so it's better. Well, there's technically this. There's um four hosts. I'm the one. I'm the main host. You know, bringing you the broadcast. You know, commentate, co commentating it. My dad is just you know is the one that you know takes me to the stuff, lets me be part of it. While he also tries to win it. And we have that guy right there and that guy right there as their alone as like the like the the actual main host that you know make the rules. You know, you know work you know work on the clock. You know stuff like that. So that's the four hosts, but. They're, I don't talk to them every day, you know, I don't see don't see them that much, uh, often at all, so I really can't count them in my intro when I when me and my dad introduced ourselves as hosts, so we can only, it's only us. But yeah, this is the third day in a row I've done a, a, like a good YouTube video. I was going to talk tell Kensington Tolman that it was not the first time I did it, where Kensington, if you're watching this, I also did three YouTube videos in a row come 4th of July. I did a graduation party on Saturday. Uh, Bam Lake Ken Schrader in the neighborhood with fireworks and whatnot, which didn't even feel like Sunday. It felt like a second Saturday. And then Monday was the 4th of July, even though they actually felt like a whole Sunday on its own, despite it being a Monday. But 28 years, I'm about to be 29 now. I don't think I've ever had a better 4th of July than that. I don't think anything will ever top 4th of July 2022. That was fucking amazing. All right, here's a really unique side view we never, we've never used before. Kind of like we the other one we just did. What about Mike Senior and Junior? Are they gonna, you know? Tag team as father son and actually try to help each other win. <laughs> Last time I checked, this is not this is not poker game night total team control. So this isn't you know the the, the you know the, the 2005 installment of the EA NASCAR series, you know NASCAR six. But I do like the idea. I do like the idea. But there's no total team control in poker. No total team control in Texas Hold'em poker. No Texas. No total team control in dominoes. No, def definitely no total team control in Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune unless, unless it's two players on one team, which is hopefully what we can implement in the live action game night series many years down the line. Someone's phone's going off. I can't believe that old school ringtone from the late 2000s is still being used even to this day. Because when it was brand new in the late 2000s, it was fucking popular as fuck. Wow. My left arm is getting sore again. Let me see if I can switch and keep it, keep it rolling. Okay, good. Even though I'm holding it, I'm holding it in an unusual way. <laughs> they, they must love. They must love their. They must love their. 
a lot of Coors Light. They must love that. You know, they must have love. They must be big fans of. Uh, yeah. How do I fuck right put it? I noticed they drink a lot of Coors Light more than any other beer. So that means they must go to the store to buy a shitload of cases of Sterling Marlin. Okay, I'm going to step away from the game for a tiny bit. And I want to show you something. See that case right there? That's a case of Team Rusty. And see this right here? That's a case of Sterling Marlin. Most important iconic one. Look at that. There's a bunch of cans of Dale Jr. in that box. So yeah, Murphy Jr. did not under normal. understand the joke, so I had to explain it to him, but it's worth explaining for sure. Not to mention they didn't allow Viagra in the game for Mark Martin, so they either had to put his name like it did in Thunder 02, or it's parent company Pfizer in 03, 04, and 05, you know, which was 2002, 2003, and 2004. Oh, and 06 as well, which was 2005, yeah. Just look at all this dough, just waiting to be won as a big cash, cash jackpot, but cat. Look at all this fuck. Look at all this dough just wait, waiting to be won as a big jackpot cash bonus. Okay, here's a little back end view, but like a little bit from the corner. It's Caesar. It's video bombing. Nope, he's going that way. I've already lost count of how many rounds we're playing. <laughs> Murphy making jokes in the back like the true comedian he is. Hey, what the fuck commercial is that? I know that song. Yeah, let's get let's get both tables. Fuck it. Up, oh, Caesar's sitting on the ground just to relax in his usual spot, or he ain't even doing anything. Was Junior saying it to his dad or was he saying it to the one guy that does the hosting? I mean, broadcast-wise, me and my dad are the host, but gameplay-wise, him, I forget his name, and the guy right there are the host when it comes to the gameplay. But broadcast-wise, me and my dad are the host, while my dad tries to also win it, too. Kind of like how yesterday during the ViaQuest Basketball Rager, I was trying to bring you guys the broadcast while also trying to win it as well. Like, I got one game won, but fortunately I couldn't do the same with the second, so... If you want to go look at that ViaQuest Basketball Rager, please do so. Link is in the description. So, three days in a row worth of YouTube videos, and it doesn't get any fucking better than that. Hey, any of you guys get killed? I would tell you, I would say who did. Snitch, okay? I would. Okay, that's a little harsh. You're taking that one to the grave. No, these guys get killed. What is the host talking about? See what my dad's table's doing. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Oh my dad we're trying to watch the game and play play poker at the same time. Oh, oh someone got a touchdown. I can't even. Well, there was Jones, or did they? I don't even know how this works, but I'm just. No, that didn't. There was no touchdown, but I just love how the guy, the guys are into the end of the football game, also trying to win a poker game. That's so cool. Look at my dad just lies, lies, eyes locked on the on the damn TV. 
Here's another new view for the new season. There's one of the hosts. Where's where's the old one host going? Louie, you having fun? <laughs> oh, that's that's a new that's another new new new, new that's another new player. So that wasn't here last year. Remember the first guy that got eliminated? He's also new to the, to the season two. I don't remember seeing him or that guy, Louie, last year. <laughs> I love how they're like... I love how they're like trying to do poker and watch the watch the football. That would be like me trying to play Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune, but also live action balls to trying to watch NASCAR or the Spurs, <laughs> which I don't think I could do do that. I don't know how the all my other peers of all ages do this shit. Here's another area. Here's another area of view. The bush beer, the bush beer aerial coverage. So if Winston Cup back when I was little, and I, especially at least on Fox and FX, if Winston Cup had the Budweiser aerial coverage and the Bush series of the Bush beer aerial coverage, what was the aerial coverage sponsor for the Craftsman Truck Series on Speed? Because I didn't watch the Truck Series in 2003. I did watch a lot of Bush and Winston, but never Truck Craftsman Truck. I do remember the, how I heard about the news of Craftsman coming back to sponsor the truck series. Because <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think I went to the zoo that day. I remember how I stayed inside most of the night and I wasn't going to come out. But it turns out, guess what? I got, only because I didn't have a YouTube video film that I had in the neighborhood. Cause I already did it at the zoo with Triad. But then I came out and I'm glad I did because I saw Mama Amy, you know, Amy Betts. You know, or Amy Fraser, you know, Aubrey, Aubrey's mom, and Magic, Magic Mike's mom. A minute left in the round. Yeah, um, yeah. And, or was that another day? I think it was around Justice's birthday. Just you know, people I, my, my friends with in the neighborhood that are also uh, some of them are outsiders too. I think it was either the Zoo Day, which tried, or with Justice's birthday. Um, when um, Krasman announced they were coming back to sponsor the truck series. I remember being over down Justice's street and walking towards the Allisons and the Crotch of Doom to, um, oh, Biggie, 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 to, um, oh my God, what's it called? You know, to go play the basketball, play basketball in the driveway or just simply watch them. I didn't participate. And, Guess. Yep, that's when I heard crap, and people were tagging me because I still use old school names of old school race of like OG of the div racing divisions as well as OG event race race events, you know, stuff like that. And OG team, oh, time's up. Another brand new view for the new season. We're getting a lot of we're getting a good amount of new views for the new year. But instead of saying times up, they say lines up. So I guess that I, I guess that so I guess this what this is this explains what what this what I guess this explains what the seat what should have been the season one premiere last year was like when I fell asleep in the, in the guest bedroom at my dad's crib when I was supposed to come here for the season what the for the what was supposed to be the season one premiere at this time last year I fell asleep in the guest bedroom at my dad's crib and that's why I couldn't go so I guess that, that this is what it was like all this commotion you know I mean there's already enough commotion in the summertime when the TV is off and there's no sports going on but not nothing like this where they're trying to win a poker game and you know be in, get into a football game on TV especially when it's in the playoffs I will, to be fair, when we went to Murphy Homestead, not last season, but like, you know, the per, 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 per millinery season, how the fuck you say that word, like, you know, the Saturday Night Poker with the cops when we did the birthday tributes for David Gentoli and Ava Contrell, more, more towards David Gentoli than Ava Contrell. <laughs> oh, yeah, when 
Kevin Durant airballed a, a three-pointer, which, you know, sent the Bucks to the next round on the way to the championship game. Giannis' his first ring, uh, which also was a, which meant that was a lucky ring for the lucky undeserved ring for the king of bitching it up. All right. We're getting some good angles here tonight. Let's try to get both of them. Sorry for being quiet again. Yeah. I'm being quiet again. I'm trying to really focus on what's what's happening in case I do need to do say something in regards to what's happening in the game. I'm paying a different Screaming at the football game again. Yeah. Mm, Rob Riggle's team is still winning. The guy in the blue hoodie is getting another drink. Wow. Okay, we got a chair side view from the back. Sorry if my hand got my fingers got in the way. Someone went to go take a bathroom break. Oh, look at look at him doing 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 the shimmy. So I'm talking about Caesar. Caesar's a good dog. All right, I can't get it all three tables from this angle, so we're only gonna get these two. My dad's in the in the in the Murphy Senior and Junior. Thank you. 
Have you said I can zoom in, in a little bit? A little too close. There we go. Uh, Mikey, buddy, 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 buddy went to the fucking restroom to do something. I used, was in there for like two seconds. All right, here's another good view we haven't used yet. We never yet this used yet since we never used it last season. Neither one of us was too proud. I like Royal with that. Well, no, I love yeah. It's like regular kind of oil and then I want to have a half drink. <laughs> 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 Oh God! Field goal time. Any man it is. Any covered. <laughs> man, it's football night. It's football night here for the season two premiere of Poker Game Night. Holy fucking shit! You gotta be fucking kidding me. My dad's got got eliminated. Damn it. So just like last year and every other season we have going forward, this, you know, next year, season three and beyond, wherever my dad gets eliminated, that can only mean one thing. Episode over. Same goes when we do the Texas Hold'em poker game night series, whenever we, whenever that might be, because like I said in the beginning, it is fucking hard to do considering it's in the middle of the week when we're all working and going to school. Even in the summertime when all of the kids are off school, it's, it's, it's even it's just as hard because all the adults, they don't get summer break unless they create their own or have a job that lets you do that, you know. Because some jobs don't even let you take that kind of, those kinds of vacations. But luckily, the, based on where I've worked, you know, Murray Ridge, Triad, and FireQuest, they've allowed you to take your own breaks like that. Where I know some people have taken the whole summer off until September when fall starts. Or for me, I've done one week in June, one week in July, and one week in August off. So sometimes, I you mean, we're lucky. The, the people I surround myself with based on the on my work environment has allowed me to do stuff like that. A real, real job wouldn't let you do that unless, you know, it's an emergency or if you're sick or something, if you know what I mean. Now, that's how you open a new season, even if it means yours truly gets eliminated for, like, how early or late was it in the game when you got knocked out? Was that? How early or late was it in the game when you got uh, eliminated? It was late, wasn't it? It was kind of semi-late. It wasn't like late, late, like, you know, a couple episodes in the past. But, and my dad just confirmed the the, the, the true season one finale should have been, let's see. Uh, let me see here. Yeah. I, no, no well, I'm trying to do the math here on what episode count it was. Wait. <laughs> Okay, so we, the season one ended at episode five because I wasn't available to bring you guys what should have been the last two episodes in October and November, episode six and seven, because I was sick both times. And even 
yeah, the first one was the, was the cold during right during the tail end of, of Adventures in Autumn, right before the Sandy Ridge finale, and I think November I, I got sick again. I, I can't remember what exactly I had, but I know the third time I vomited for the first time is since 2007, and then I actually had a I sat out that following Monday, and then, you know, we overslept on Tuesday, even though I was still feeling like shit anyway, but I kind of was forced to go in that Wednesday and kind of make myself feel better, because luckily, they had karaoke planned, so I was singing and dancing to Ricky Martin before karaoke that day, It just kind of shook off the illness, because my mom always said, sometimes, you know, you just got to make yourself feel better, if you, you know, if you, even if it means it, if it doesn't require medication, you just got to do it yourself, but until next time, this is Mark Oliveris Enterprises signing off. I hope you enjoyed, you know, the season two premiere of Poker Game Night as much as I did bringing it to you. Now, tomorrow, we got nothing. We got nothing tomorrow. Um, let's see, the next major video, the next major video will be this Berea, not Berea, North Ridgeville Senior Night game come February 4th. And so go to the community tab on my, on, on my channel to see the upcoming upload schedule after today. So have a good night tonight and a better day tomorrow. Life will give you a lot of lows when you hit a high. Enjoy it. It ain't for the week. Goddamn. Pace yourself. Bring your ass. Be you. You have to try harder to do less. You can't deport a dream. Sometimes the worst things in life lead to the best things. Always bet on the side of love. You gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. Sometimes you just gotta be present. You never fail until you stop trying. It never pays to worry too much about things. It's never too late to turn the day around. Another day on time. Another day to shine. Sometimes you just gotta flack yourself. Try your instincts, stand up for yourself, not back down to anyone. All for one, one for all. She love that difference. So take care, everyone. Good night. And next Poker Game Night episode will be February 18th, from the day before the 65th annual Daytona 500, which I also forgot to acknowledge. Um, a couple things. One, the next two live streams will be the Gatorade Twin 125, the day after my Kevin Harvick 29th birthday, and then the stream of the Daytona 500 that, that following Sunday. And then besides the hanging pictures video I got planned with my grandfather, we have one more cooking video for you for season two of Winter Wonderland with me, my mom and grandma all cook pesto noodles all at the same time. So there's so much in store for you. I have so much in store I have for you guys that you all won't want to miss it. So therefore, I'll see you later, everyone. Y'all ready for this?